In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element here in NH4ClO3. This is ammonium chlorate. So when we look at ammonium chlorate, overall, it's a neutral compound. It doesn't have a negative or a positive charge after it. And in a neutral compound, the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So that's good to know. It's helpful to think of this as two ions, the ammonium ion, and that's going to be NH4 with a positive charge, good one to remember, and then the chlorate ion here, ClO3, which has a negative charge. So these two ions, when they come together, form an ionic bond, and we have this neutral compound. For ions, the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So for the ammonium ion, we can say nitrogen, we don't know that, that's X plus hydrogen when it's bonded to nonmetals, and nitrogen's a nonmetal, that's plus one. So we have plus one, and we have four of those. And the whole thing equals the charge on the ion, that one plus. So X plus four equals one, subtract four from each side, X equals minus three. So the nitrogen here, this nitrogen, has an oxidation number of minus three, and we said each hydrogen is plus one. For the chlorate ion, we don't know what the chlorine is, but we do know that oxygen is going to be minus two, with just a few exceptions. So we have a minus two, we have three oxygen atoms, and the whole thing equals the charge on the chlorate ion, which is that minus one. So X minus six equals minus one, add six to both sides, and you'll get a positive five. So the chlorine here in the chlorate ion, that's going to be plus five. We said each oxygen was minus two. So these are the oxidation numbers for each element in NH4ClO3 here. It's helpful, again, to think of it as two separate ions and then find the oxidation numbers for each one of those elements in the ions. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for NH4ClO, ammonium chlorate. Thanks for watching.